Erie County Council is in the process of replacing Mary Rennie, who resigned from her seat a few weeks ago. Jade Leah Burns was at a special county council meeting today where they discussed the finalists and the next steps. Jade. Jen, six candidates put themselves out there in front of the panel of council members for one open seat. Erie County Council held an open forum where members spoke face to face with each of the six candidates who are running for the open seat. Former Councilwoman Mary Rennie announced her resignation and withdrawal from the 2023 general election ballot race on July 24th. The Democratic Party kind of dropped the ball. They should have put somebody forward within 10 days. They didn't, so that kind of changes the direction. Council has had applications and resumes for about a week. Shank's key question during Wednesday's meeting was what do these candidates do for their community? At the end of the meeting, Erie County Council narrowed their six candidates down to three finalists. One finalist explains that his prior experience on the Erie School Board has prepared him for Council's upcoming budget session. I'm a very quantitative, analytical type of person. And that's what we, we need. We need somebody who can really look at the numbers and, and not be afraid to put the work in. I have friends that are Republican. I have friends that are Democrat. There are candidates that I've supported who are re Republican. There are candidates who I've supported who are Democrat. I believe I can take a look at something and make an honest, an honest assessment. Both Sapi Pienza and Spagel's goals include bringing new people to Erie while retaining those that already live here. One candidate who has run for city council in the past says Rennie personally suggested that he should run in her place. All the support behind of the people that said, you know what, you are a workhorse, you go out there and do the job and we trust that you are going to be there and stay there and, and, and not be in the same situation that we're in now. Shank says the next time council comes together, they will walk out with a new council person in the vacant seat. Jen. All right, Jade Leah Burns in our control room. Thank you, Jade.